I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 66.1 Questioner, would you give me an indication of the instrument's condition? Answer, I am Ra. The vital energies are somewhat depleted at this time but not seriously so. The physical energy level is extremely low. Otherwise, it is as previously stated. Question 66.2 Questioner, is there anything that we can do, staying within the first distortion, to seek aid from the Confederation in order to alleviate the instrument's physical problems? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 66.3 Questioner, can you tell me the most appropriate method in attempting to alleviate the instrument's physical problems? Answer, I am Ra. The basic material has been covered before concerning the nurturing of this instrument. We recapitulate the exercise according to ability, not to exceed appropriate parameters, the nutrition, the social intercourse with companions, the sexual activity in green ray or above, and in general, the sharing of the distortions of this group's individual experiences in an helpful, loving manner. These things are being accomplished with what we consider great harmony given the density in which you dance. The specific attention and activities with which those with physical complex distortions may alleviate these distortions are known to this instrument. Finally, it is well for this instrument to continue the practices it has lately begun. Question 66.4. Questioner, which practices are those? Answer, I am Ra. These practices concern exercises which we have outlined previously. We may say that the variety of experiences which this entity seeks is helpful as we have said before, but as this instrument works in these practices the distortion seems less mandatory. Question 66.5. Questioner. I would like to investigate the mechanism of healing using the crystallized healer. I am going to make a statement and I would appreciate it if you would correct my thinking. It seems to me that once the healer has become properly balanced and unblocked with respect to energy centers, it is possible for him to act in some way as a collector and focuser of light in a way analogous to the way a pyramid works, collecting light through the left hand and emitting it through the right. This then, somehow, penetrating the first and seventh chakras vibratory envelope of the body and allowing for the realignment of energy centers of the entity to be healed. I'm quite sure that I'm not completely correct on this and possibly considerably off. Could you rearrange my thinking so that it makes sense? Answer, I am Ra. You are correct in your assumption that the crystallized healer is analogous to the pyramidal action of the king's chamber position. There are a few adjustments we might suggest. Firstly, the energy which is used is brought into the field complex of the healer by the outstretched hand used in a polarized sense. However, this energy circulates through the various points of energy to the base of the spine and, to a certain extent, the feet, thus coming through the main energy centers of the healer spiraling through the feet, turning at the red energy center towards a spiral at the yellow energy center and passing through the green energy center in a microcosm of the king's chamber energy configuration of prana, this then continuing for the third spiral through the blue energy center and being sent therefrom through the gateway back to intelligent infinity. It is from the green center that the healing prana moves into the polarized healing right hand and therefrom to the one to be healed. We may note that there are some who use the yellow ray configuration to transfer energy and this may be done but the effects are questionable and, with regard to the relationship between the healer, the healing energy, and the seeker, questionable due to the propensity for the seeker to continue requiring such energy transfers without any true healing taking place in the absence of the healer due to the lack of penetration of the armoring shell of which you spoke. Question 66.6 Questioner, a wanderer who has an origin from fifth or sixth density can attempt such a healing and have little or no results. Can you tell me what the wanderer has lost and why it is necessary for him to regain certain balances and abilities for him to perfect his healing ability? Answer, I am Ra. You may see the wanderer as the infant attempting to verbalize the sound complexes of your peoples. The memory of the ability to communicate is within the infant's undeveloped mind complex, 
that the ability to practice or manifest this called speech is not immediately forthcoming due to the limitations of the mind, body, spirit complex it has chosen to be a part of in this experience. So it is with the wanderer which, remembering the ease with which adjustments can be made in the home density, yet still having entered third density, cannot manifest at memory due to the limitation of the chosen experience. The chances of a wanderer being able to heal in third density are only more than those native to this density because the desire to serve may be stronger in this method of service chosen. Question 66.7 Questioner, what about the ones with the dual type of activated third and fourth density bodies, harvested from other third density planets? Are they able to heal using the techniques that we have discussed? Answer, I am Ra. In many cases this is so, but as beginners of fourth density, the desire may not be present. Question 66.8 Questioner, I'm assuming, then, that we have a wanderer with the desire attempting to learn the techniques of healing while, shall I say, trapped in third density. He then, it seems to me, is primarily concerned with the balancing and unblocking of the energy centers. Am I correct in this assumption? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Only insofar as the healer has become balanced may it be a channel for the balancing of another self. The healing is first practiced upon the self, if we may say this, in another way. Question 66.9 Questioner now as the healer approaches another self to do the healing we have a situation where the other self has, through programming of catalyst, possibly created a condition which is viewed as a condition needing healing. What is the situation and what are the ramifications of the healer acting upon the condition of programmed catalyst to bring about healing? Am I correct in assuming that in doing this healing, the programmed catalyst is useful to the one to be healed in that the one to be healed then becomes aware of what it wished to become aware of in programming the catalyst. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. Your thinking cannot be said to be completely incorrect but shows a rigidity which is not apparent in the flow of the experiential use of catalyst. The role of the healer is to offer an opportunity for realignment or aid in realignment of either energy centers or some connection between the energies of mind and body, spirit and mind, or spirit and body. This latter is very rare. The seeker will then have the reciprocal opportunity to accept a novel view of the self, a variant arrangement of patterns of energy influx. If the entity, at any level, desires to remain in the configuration of distortion which seems to need healing it will do so. If, upon the other hand, the seeker chooses the novel configuration, it is done through free will. This is one great difficulty with other forms of energy transfer in that they do not carry through the process of free will as this process is not native to yellow ray. Question 66.10 Questioner, what is the difference? philosophically, between the mind, body, spirit complex healing itself through mental, shall I say, configuration and it being healed by an healer? Answer, I am Ra. You have a misconception. The healer does not heal. The crystallized healer is a channel for intelligent energy which offers an opportunity to an entity that it might heal itself. In no case is there another description of healing. Therefore, there is no difference as long as the healer never approaches one whose request for aid has not come to it previously. This is also true of the more conventional healers of your culture and if these healers could but fully realize that they are responsible only for offering the opportunity of healing, and not for the healing, many of these entities would feel an enormous load of misconceived responsibility fall from them. Question 66.11 Questioner, then in seeking healing a mind, body, spirit complex would then be seeking in some cases a source of gathered and focused light energy. This source could be another mind, body, spirit complex sufficiently crystallized for this purpose or the pyramid shape or possibly something else. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. These are some of the ways an entity may seek healing. Yes. Question 66.12 Questioner. Could you tell me the other ways an entity could seek healing? Answer, I am Ra. Perhaps the greatest healer is within the self and may be tapped with continued meditation as we have suggested. 
the many forms of healing available to your peoples, each have virtue and may be deemed appropriate by any seeker who wishes to alter the physical complex distortions or some connection between the various portions of the mind, body, spirit complex thereby. Question 66.13 Questioner, I have observed many activities known as psychic surgery in the area of the Philippine Islands. It was my assumption that these healers are providing what I would call a training aid or a way of creating a reconfiguration of the mind of the patient to be healed as the relatively naive patient observes the action of the healer in seeing the materialized blood, etc. and reconfigures the roots of mind to believe, you might say, the healing is done and, therefore, heals himself. Is this analysis that I have made correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. We may speak slightly further on the type of opportunity. There are times when the malcondition to be altered is without emotional, mental, or spiritual interest to the entity and is merely that which has, perhaps by chance genetic arrangement, occurred. In these cases that which is apparently dematerialized will remain dematerialized and may be observed as so by any observer. The malcondition which is an emotional, mental, or spiritual charge is likely not to remain dematerialized in the sense of the showing of the objective referent to an observer. However, if the opportunity has been taken by the seeker the apparent malcondition of the physical complex will be at variance with the actual health, as you call this distortion, of the seeker and the lack of experiencing the distortions which the objective referent would suggest still held sway. For instance, in this instrument the removal of three small cysts was the removal of material having no interest to the entity. Thus these growths remained dematerialized after the so-called psychic surgery experience. In other psychic surgery the kidneys of this instrument were carefully offered a new configuration of beingness which the entity embraced. However, this particular portion of the mind, body, spirit complex carried a great deal of emotional, mental, and spiritual charge due to this distorted functioning being the cause of great illness in a certain configuration of events which culminated in this entity's conscious decision to be of service. Therefore, any objective scanning of this entity's renal complex would indicate the rather extreme dysfunctional aspect which it showed previous to the psychic surgery experience, as you call it. The key is not in the continuation of the dematerialization of distortion to the eye of the beholder but rather lies in the choosing of the newly materialized configuration which exists in time-space. Question 66.14 Questioner, would you explain that last comment about the configuration in time-space? Answer, I am Ra. Healing is done in the time-space portion of the mind, body, spirit complex is adopted by the form-making or eteric body, and is then given to the space-time physical illusion for use in the activated yellow mind, body, spirit complex. It is the adoption of the configuration which you call health by the eteric body in time-space which is the key to what you call health, not any event which occurs in space-time. In the process you may see the trans-dimensional aspect of what you call will, for it is the will, the seeking, the desire of the entity which causes the indigo body to use the novel configuration and to reform the body which exists in space-time. This is done in an instant and may be said to operate without regard to time. We may note that in the healing of very young children there is often an apparent healing by the healer in which the young entity has no part. This is never so, for the mind, body, spirit complex in time-space is always capable of willing the distortions it chooses for experience no matter what the apparent age, as you call it, of the entity. Question 66.15 Questioner, is this desire and will that operates through to the time-space section a function only of the entity who is healed or is it also the function of the healer, the crystallized healer? Answer, I am Ra. May we take this opportunity to say that this is the activity of the Creator. To specifically answer your query the crystallized healer has no will. It offers an opportunity without attachment to the outcome, for it is aware that all is one and that the Creator is knowing itself. Question 66.16 Questioner, then the desire must be strong in the mind, body, spirit complex who seeks healing to be healed in order for the healing to occur. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct on one level or another. 
an entity may not consciously seek healing and yet subconsciously be aware of the need to experience the new set of distortions which result from healing. Similarly an entity may consciously desire healing greatly but within the being at some level, find some cause whereby certain configurations which seem quite distorted are, in fact, at that level, considered appropriate.